Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor is Friday, September 28th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, pay-per-view, Fight TV, Ring of Honor, Honor Club members. It's going to be a huge event. Tanil, recently, you decided you were going to go public about your skin psoriasis problems. What made you decide to do that? And just what do you feel about just the overwhelming response you got from doing that? I was so touched by the response. It was amazing. And I, I guess I decided um, it's something I'm still going through right now, still dealing with, which is why I said to you, my diet is so strict right now. Um, I really feel that diet is the key to the health and to getting better. And I don't want to take medication to sleep that don't get me better. So that's what I'm working on right now. But um, it's something I was dealing with and having a lot of trouble with. And, and I just thought to myself, maybe this has happened for a reason. Maybe, maybe this is because I need to share it with people. And, you know, I've realized there's so many people in the world going through, um, you know, much worse things than this. But so many people are dealing with um, skin conditions or order, it's come to order new diseases. And so many debilitating things that um, control people's lives and consume them. And, you know, these, these things lead to depression and anxiety and all kinds of things that are just, really control people's lives. So I just thought sharing that to kind of let people know that, hey, like what you're seeing on the internet isn't always real life and, you know, all, all these things are showing the best sides of things. But I just want people to know that, like, uh, being I'm going to me, like I'm going through a lot of hard times. And, um, and I just wanted to share that just to let people know that, like, they're not alone and that this, this is life. And, you know, maybe together we can all find ways to, to get better. And Tennille, was it difficult to wrestle with that, or were you not have you didn't have to confront the pain when you were wrestling, or were there times you had to? Yeah, I still I still am. <laughs> um, I mean, I had to pull out of one the one tour, which was when things were very extreme, and I had to go to the hospital, and I was really needed some time to take care of myself, which is really hard for me to do is to not wrestle and to step away from that. But I really had a choice. Um, so I took a week or two, and it actually helped, did help to get things a bit more under control. And then um, I've continued ever since then, just basically trying to do all of it at once. And I don't want to pull out of shows or stop doing the rest of So I'm just trying to kind of um, do the best I can with it and like, try to keep it under control and, and get better still. So there's still, it's going to be, it's going to take time. Um, anyone that deals with these things for like an overnight thing, but um, yeah, I'm working on it. And I'm, I'm still going to do my shows. Right now, I'm in LA with a wrestling. I have a show with that tonight. And then I head to New York tomorrow. I have a show with Creative Pro Wrestling. So yeah, still doing my normal busy schedule and just trying to keep the balance of everything and get better still. And lastly, on it, I mean, Tanil, you're a beautiful woman, but because of it, did you? in yourself feel less attractive and is that part of the message too to try to bring out to others that may have this? Yeah, that's it's a really important thing that I do want to share with people and I will share more and, and discuss things more with everyone but I clearly wanted to get myself better first so that I can talk more and about what I've done and what works for me and really try to help people a little bit more and share my story a bit more. But I just wanted to open up first to let people know what's going on so that I don't have to feel uh, embarrassed or ashamed, uh, like I used to a lot. And I think the thing is, a lot of the times outsiders that don't know what's going on can say things in a half, or, um, but it, you know, it's only because they don't know what's going on. And they might ask you something or say something that can you know, hurt your feelings when they, when they don't know. But oftentimes when you let someone in on what's going on, the response is completely different. And then people empathize and they want to ask questions about how you feel or how or what they know that might help you get better or so someone else may experience that happens. Yeah, and it's a completely different feeling when you let people in and share something with them. Um, and so I wanted to share that. I wanted to let people know that it doesn't change it doesn't change who I am as a person. It doesn't change, you know, what I've achieved in my career. And it's not stopping me from doing what I love, which is, like I said, I'm still doing my schedule and my and the wrestling shows and traveling, and I'm still doing all of it. But it doesn't make me any less of a, a person or change my a, appearance in the sense of, you know, beauty or what's within or anything like that. So that's very 
important. 